точно не видела, не похоронила, я лицо ее не видела. Какой же за особой жестокости ты ее бил? Как ты можешь такое говорить? Ты убивал ее несколько Так, пожалуйста, Боже, пройдите. Пройдите в другое помещение, прошу вас. Uh, the case of Kuandak Bishambayev, the former Minister of Economy of Kazakhstan, has caused significant public outcry. Bishambayev is accused of the particular cruel murder of his wife Sultanat Nukanova in November 2023. According to the investigation, he beat her in a restaurant and left her to die over several hours. The incident took place in a restaurant owned by Bishambai family and it was captured on CCTV footage. The footage showed Bishambai dragging his wife by her hair and then punching and kicking her. Hours after the attack, Nukanova died from brain trauma. During the ongoing trial on murder, it was revealed that after Nukanova lost consciousness, Bishambayev did not call an ambulance. Instead, he sought advice from a psychic by his phone. His brother Bakajan Bajanov is charged with concealing and failure to report a crime. Previously, Kwandik Bishambayev was sentenced to 10 years in prison for corruption in March 2018. He served approximately three years before being pardoned by Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. The case began with this shocking incident in a restaurant owned by Bishambayev family in Astana, where Kwandik Bishambayev, a former minister for national economy, was alleged to have brutally murdered his wife, Nukanova Sultanat, in a VIP booth of his own restaurant. On the night of the incident, both Bishambayev and his wife, Sultanat Nukanova, had been drinking alcoholic beverages after visiting a concert. According to Bishambayev's statement, Nukanova hit her head on the closet in the bathroom multiple times, which resulted in her losing consciousness. Subsequently, she fell asleep. Bishambayev claimed that he chose not to wake her, citing that he did not intend to cause her harm. However, it's important to note that Bishambayev has been charged with causing her death and the trial has revealed evidence of domestic abuse. The event sparked a national outcry, leading to tens of thousands signing petitions for harsher domestic violence penalties and the enactment of Sultanat's law in honor of the victim. As the trial unfolded, Bishambayev initially refused to grant access to his smartphone, believed to contain crucial evidence. Authorities attempted to breach the device with the help of IT specialists, but ultimately Bishambayev provided the password. The unlocked phone revealed disturbing videos of Bishambayev abuse in Nukanova, which became a pivotal moment in the trial, strengthening the prosecution's case and prompting public demands for justice. It's widely believed that Bishambayev, possibly intoxicated, forgot that he filmed videos where he beats his wife and where she was forced into admitting it to a sexual encounter with a prominent businessman before their marriage. In one video, he refers to her as a bitch. Although initially resistant, his wife appears exhausted and eventually confirms the allegations he pressures her to admit to. In a controversial twist, Bishambayev has claimed that he was not the abuser but rather the victim of new cannabis abuse. This assertion has been met with skepticism, especially after forensic experts presented evidence that refuted his claim that new cannabis death was an accident due to injuries caused by a fall. The trial's coverage has been heightened by the involvement of Ksenia Sobchak, a prominent Russian journalist, whose presence in the courtroom added an international dimension to the proceedings. Her attendance contrasted with local journalists who were observed standing while Sobchak was seated, sparked debates about media dynamics and the perception of external involvement in high-profile cases. During the trial of Kwandak Bishambayev, accused of murdering his wife, it was revealed that he had communicated with blogger Gulnara Nasrbekova in a restaurant where his wife lay unconscious. After their meeting, Nasrbekova sent Bishambayev a message saying, by the way, you smell like roses, which has been interpreted as a possible coded message. This phrase could carry a hidden meaning or suggest that Bishambayev would emerge from the situation with his reputation as scathed. It's still unknown whether Nasrbekov will be held accountable in any way related to the case. 
Uh, John Bajanov stands accused of helping his brother conceal the crime and failing to inform medical services despite knowing that Nukanova needed urgent help. He also admitted to deleting the surveillance camera footage and taking Sultan at Nukanova's phone home to conceal its geolocation. In his defense, Bajanov has reportedly suggested that concealing a brother's sins is a national trait, a command that has sparked significant backlash and opposing views within the community and media. Recent developments have seen amendments to the charges against Bajanov, with the prosecution dropping the charge of failure to report a crime, focusing solely on concealment of a crime. These changes could significantly impact the case outcome and potential sentencing for Bajanov. This case has become emblematic, raising critical questions about women's rights and the imperative to combat domestic violence. Stay tuned, share your thoughts, and if you value our coverage, please like and subscribe. Thank you for joining us.